I would like to acknowledge the presence here of a great friend of Cyprus, Teresa Villiers, Member of Parliament for Chief in Parliament. She's very well known in our community, a great champion of our cause in the House of Commons. And as many of you know, Teresa is now a minister in the government, and we congratulate her on her appointment. The next person I'd like to welcome and introduce to you is Matthew Offord, who is the new member of parliament for Hendon, somebody we are keen to work with in the new parliament. I'm delighted that Matthew is here with us, and he will say a few words. Thank you, Peter, and everyone who has turned out here today. It's always a pleasure to see you each year after the rally here in Trafalgar Square. But I have to say, I often leave with a sense of sadness that we are forced to meet again and again and again without any real action being taken. So I'm pleased to stand here this year and to acknowledge that the new coalition government have made it a key priority to resolve the issue of Cyprus. Myself, Teresa Villiers, Mike Freer and David Burrows are going to hold the government to account to find a lasting settlement and peace for the island. We want action. David Burrows and Teresa have already started that action by establishing the all-parliamentary group in Parliament on Cyprus so that we can force our way forward with a resolution to ensure the peace we all want. It is unacceptable for the government of Turkey not to allow ships from Cyprus to use their ports. They are quick to condemn countries such as Israel when there are problems with boats coming from their country to others. They must play the same game as everyone else. But for me, the main issue is Turkey's accession to the European Union. If Turkey wants to join, they have to fulfill their obligations to the people and the island of Cyprus. That means there is no divided island of Cyprus. That means that land and property is returned to the people it was taken off in 1974. That means that people who are missing must be located and identified so their relatives can start the grieving process. Until that happens, Turkey is not welcome in the EU. It is only then, and if they play their part, and an agreement that is accessible and agreeable to the, all of the island of Cyprus, will they be accepted into the European Union. Until then, we keep fighting. Thank you. I would really like to thank Matthew for being here with us today and for expressing those views which are really encouraging. Thank you very much, Matthew. We look forward to working with you in the House of Commons. The next person I'd like to invite uh, to address uh, our gathering today is somebody who is very well known to our community. His name is Alan Neal. He's a member of Parliament for Mansfield, a great friend of Cyprus, always on our side. We'd like him to Chairman uh, Peter, Minister, children of Cyprus, citizens of the free world, I bring you today uh, congratulations once again and solidarity messages from all the Midlands area, Nottingham, Birmingham and Mansfield. We are with you in your cause and we will be there right to the end. You know, when you get tyrants and tyranny, you also get a whole range of things which happen in the free world, in the unfree world. You get things like the Cyprus situation. You also get, in their own countries, in Turkey, 
where people are intimidated, jailed, and their human rights are removed. You also get what's happened to our comrades in the Kurdish regime. We must never forget the turmoil that they are going through at this time. Never. Comrades, I come here today to talk to you about the long struggle that you've had over the last few years. A struggle, a heartfelt struggle for freedom and democracy in your own country. Here we stand in the shadow of the South African Embassy asking for an end to apartheid in Europe. The reality is, until Turkey does that, there is no place whatsoever in Europe for Turkey. There is also no place in Europe at all, whilst they occupy parts of the north of Cyprus. They must remove their footprint from every inch of land in the north, they must give all the properties back to their rightful owners. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And but last but not least, they must compensate all of them for the losses they've incurred for the decades that they've been in charge there. Yeah. And last but not least, the most important thing of all, they must tell what happened to the missing people, they must identify the people responsible, and they must return all of those people back to their rightful uh, citizens and families. You know, Matthew, you mentioned something about the establishment of the Cyprus Group. That's been going since 1974, and it'll continue. I pay tribute to our colleagues on this rostrum today. Tom Cox, Eddie O'Hara, Andrew Dismore, Ian Twin, have always been a part of that group. Struggle sometimes takes, as you well know, decades, but struggles that we have to undertake on behalf of our, uh, our people. In my area of Mansfield, we have a very small community, something like 250 families, but most of them are refugees who've lost their homes and lost some of their families in the process of the illegal occupation and invasion. What we must do is continue the fight until such times as we win that resolution and free Cyprus from the territory it's currently involved in. There can be no peace in Europe, there can be no peace in the world until Turkey removes itself from that northern part of the island. Politicians of various varieties have come to this rostrums in years gone by and knocked on your doors at times of elections and begged for your support. Only a week and a half ago I was in Westminster when a magnificent turnout of MPs turned out for the Cyprus community in there. There has to be a question. Where are they today? Supporting Cyprus is not a part-time occupation. It's a full-time occupation for freedom of that island. Cyprus and I've said citizens of the free will the struggle must go on until we get that freedom an end to apartheid in a part of Europe realization of the goal of return of all the citizens to their properties the whereabouts of the missing people actually told to their relatives and last but not least land and compensation be returned and paid to those people who've lost out in the last three and a half decades the fight goes on ladies and gentlemen it goes on until such times as we win. With friends like Alan Neal in Parliament, we will win. Thank you so much, Alan, for those encouraging and passionate words.